So my, my name is Pavel Kropa. I am a professor at the University of Bonn in Germany. Um, and I'm, I'm leading a research group which is working on stellar populations and stellar dynamics. We are investigating with how stars form and um, how the stars distribute throughout the galactic disk. For that we have to understand first of all the distribution of masses of the stars that come out of the star formation um, events and we have to understand how the stars are distributed in binary systems. The star clusters we calculate, the, the evolution of the star clusters we calculate with uh, n-body models with a computer and these are very um, demanding astrophysical computations requiring the fastest computers which are currently available and we calculate how these star clusters evolve on the one hand side how they react to the expulsion of the remaining gas which did not form stars because the, the stars which are forming are heat up the gas which then is ejected out of the cluster and so the cluster expands we also calculate how um, the stars are ejected through strong dynamical encounters in the cluster. So what we find is that the massive stars, which are the very, very luminous stars, they can be a hundred to a million times as bright as the sun, are very quickly ejected out of the clusters in large numbers and then populate the, the galactic fields to fairly large distances, hundreds, parsec or even more, away from the very young clusters. Um, we um, also found that when a star cluster expels its gas, many of the stars leave the cluster at that instant, which means that each cluster, is it, if it is younger or even older, will be surrounded by a population, a halo of expanding stars. And um, these uh, predictions have to, be, have to be verified with observations. That is very difficult because for that we need to know the exact positions and velocities of the stars around the star cluster and for that the Gaia mission will be crucial in um, establishing which of our models are closer to the truth. So with Gaia we will be able to, to find all the stars near a star cluster um, which belong to the cluster but which are moving away from the cluster and from the velocities of the stars as they move from the cluster which we can measure with Gaia um, we will then see um, how quickly the cluster lost its gas, how um, important the stellar dynamical encounters between the stars are in the cluster, uh, and so on. Furthermore, um, as the stars leave the cluster, they orbit in the potential of the Milky Way, and um, the orbits of the stars in the potential of the Milky Way will test the gravitational theories. Is Newt Newtonian, is New was Newton right? Or do we need an alternative gravitational theory? And again, that is where Gaia will, will give us extremely important information on whether the gravitational theory which we are currently believing in, or most of us believe in, is actually correct, or, or whether we have to switch perhaps to something like modified Newtonian dynamics by Milgram. And this is an extremely exciting problem, um, which is uh, very, very deeply related to fundamental physical issues uh, related to the um, origin and the nature of space-time and um, matter, the origin of matter.